the sampling is conducted with the desire of having the exact representation of the population but it has certain limitation main source of the limitation is the uh, researcher the researcher at times has its own biases about the sample has some his own likes dislikes and prejudices so if one is using especially the non probability types of sampling methods then such kind of researcher biases come into picture and thus the sample does not become the true representation of the population the researcher's maturity about the research process does matter at times the researcher is not knowledgeable about the various options available in the sampling so one lands up choosing the wrong sampling technique for the wrong type of population and thus it creates the limitation in terms of generalizations at the end sometimes the researcher does not have sufficient statistical background or does not have sufficient knowledge and competencies for using the statistical techniques most appropriate for that particular sampling method in such cases the sampling turns out to be limitation for generalization at times the researcher is not aware of the practical problems in the actual data collecting situation in such case once again the there are limitations for generalizations so we can see that the researcher's competency his knowledge base as well as the ability to choose the uh, best sampling technique for the situation is absolutely must and if sufficient enough repertoire is not available with the researcher then one would choose the wrong sampling technique for the wrong kind of uh, enquiry if the researcher does not have enough background of all the sampling techniques the researcher would choose the wrong sampling technique for the uh, problem under study another limitation comes from the participants themselves especially in the researches that come for social sciences where human beings are the main sources for the data so their willingness their interest their attitude towards the research does matter so there are uh, situations where one select the sample by using the probability sampling methods but the participant just refuses to participate in the experiment or in the survey in such case there since there is non cooperation from the participants it brings the limitations to the sampling in certain cases the population size is very small and again selecting the sample from that becomes a challenge this is another situation where the sampling brings the limitation if the composition is very complex the population is of heterogeneous types of groups then once again it becomes difficult to select the sample and then it in such cases one goes for the census that is collecting data from every member of the population so thus the, the sampling though is conducted with the intention of collecting data with the least possible time and the least possible resources including finance there are certain limitations even in the sampling so one needs to take into consideration all these limitations while choosing the final technique for data collection in this whole section we have seen how sampling is important in the total process of research and how the care needs to be taken what are the various challenges in the uh, while selecting the sample what are the various options available while selecting the sample the researcher needs to take into consideration the nature of study the composition of the population its geographical spread and the kind of data that is to be collected from sample and only after taking all these factor into account 
the researcher should take the decision about which sampling technique is to be used. And at most care needs to be taken by the researcher that every person from the sample gives data and thus the generalization is possible.